Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, adventurers alike, I'm Jordan Brady, the CEO, creator of Lobo Adventure Trailers, and we've got something new for you! Check it out! Though. I'm Jordan Brady, the owner and creator of Lobo Adventure Trailers. We've been around since 2021. Uh, Lobo, honestly, was our COVID baby. A lot of us had those. Mine was a trailer. My wife and I started this with a dream and hope that adventures can go further uh, and honestly adventure better, more safely, and uh, in more comfort. If you notice, we have everything here. It's like an RV and a tank had a baby in this small little package here. And we're gonna walk you through some of the new features on our new 2024 all US made V1 Alpha trailer. Now we absolutely love our V1 trailers. It had every accessory that you needed to adventure the way you wanted to. Honestly, the customers that got it loved it so much. We just had to keep making it. Now we brought our manufacturing back to the United States. We are 100% US manufactured here in Southern California. And uh, with that came some price increases. You'll see those with our new prices. However, we wanted to upgrade a lot of the functions of this trailer to not just uh, build it here in the US, but pass on some of those quality build features to you. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice right off the bat that the electronics and our kitchen has completely changed. We've still kept the looks, vibes, and feels, the angles of our Wolf, our beloved Lobo logo, but we had to upgrade some things for you when we brought it here to the United States. First and foremost, we brought you Red Arc Red Vision Electronics. Now, what does that mean? That means when you have your water tank, you have your battery level, your outside air temperature, your water temperature, your tank heater, your outside lights, inside lights, your fridge, your water pump, all of those things can be controlled from the Red Arc TVMS. That's the Total Vehicle Management System. Now, you can control it from your Bluetooth or from this uh, really nifty electronics panel here. Awesome, awesome features. You have your 120 amp plug, your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter, and obviously your USB-C and your USB ports right there. Now, when we brought it over here last year, we got a lot of uh, feedback from our customers saying with the kitchen, they did like the dual burner and the sink situation, but overall, if they had to choose it, they would have gone with a flat surface because sometimes you have a cook partner, sometimes you have a griddle, sometimes you have a blackstone. And so we gave you a flat surface on our kitchen, a rubber insert removable sink, so that way, if you're ever needing to disinfect uh, your, your meats or defrost something on the go, you could just take that, that basin, take it out, put in a new one, and you're good to go while you're adventuring. Couple of other changes that you'll notice. We have two versions of this trailer. Now, the trailer that we're working on right now and you're seeing behind me, this is our V2 XL trailer. We only made four of these. The big difference in the upgrades from our V1 to our V2 is our water capacity. We went from 20 gallons now to 30 gallons of water for you. Now, our base trailer will always come with a handful of features. Your two batteries, 100 amp batteries typically, AGM, your Red Arc Red Vision, your kitchen pullout with your sink and your faucet, your water pump, your rear tire swing out with a spare tire, um, and independent suspension. And you're gonna have options for upgrading all your accessories. So your fridge, your awning, and your tent are the selections that you get to choose. Uh, what style of uh, four point balancers you want, so either arc or generic. A 360 uh, hitch, so you can use lock and roll or max coupler and then um, a propane mount up front. Um, after that, on average, our builds come out to be, I would say 20 to 30% less than our competitors. One of the biggest changes is we added a permanent countertop here with our gas struts. Um, some of our customers were complaining of that the drop on these doors was too quick, so we added that, that soft, Look at that, that soft drop, ooh. That soft drop countertop, I love that with the gas struts, allowing you to close that easily. And then again, we don't take up any storage space with our electronics. All of our electronics are hidden behind this box, but where's our battery, where's our inverter? If you notice, our, our, our batteries are hidden under these compartments inside the kitchen, and then on the right side is gonna be our inverter over there on the right. 
totally, totally hidden, easily accessible, just in case you do need to do a reset or you want to upgrade your batteries. But again, not taking up any of that needed storage space unnecessarily by your electronics. Now, per usual, we've got our outside dome lighting to illuminate your prep areas, your campgrounds as you're outside. And then inside, we've changed up a couple of things. These lights are controlled from your red arc, but you can switch them from white to blue to red, just in case those bugs come around. Those of you in the south have lots of mosquitoes, so that red light's gonna come in super handy. These are gonna illuminate your campground when you're not using your prep table, and when you are cooking at night, you're gonna have tons of light over your fridge, over your sink and, and stove, and over your prep area on this long table. Absolutely love the, the amount of prep space. While camping, countertop space is huge. We're giving you that large, large prep space inside your L-shaped kitchen. So we designed our kitchen to be intuitive for you. Everything within this step and a half. And that way you're not having to leave your prep area to cook any food. For, for me, I got three kids and my wife and we like to go with lots of friends. This becomes the chuck wagon. This becomes the hangout space. And for me at home, that's where the family comes together. When we're camping, I want the kitchen to be a place where all my friends come together while adventuring. Because at Lobo, we're living our best outdoors. Now in our kitchen pullout, like we said before, we have our flat surface with our basin sink and our faucet. If you wanted to upgrade that to a Dometic dual stove and sink insert, we can totally do that for you. And we also always offer your options for your, your fridges. Now we like to work with Iceco just because they have a really good price. They have that LG uh, compressor inside them and they're really, really durable. But if you're a Dometic person or you like another fridge or awning or tent company, hit us up. We're gonna customize to your needs and your wants. Now on your adventures, things get wet, things get dirty, things get dusty, things get rocky. We always include on our builds automotive grade water and dust seals and these uh, big latches. These are gonna suck in against those seals and our outdoor lights, marine grade lights, waterproof, dustproof, uh, bang proof. That way, when you're adventuring, you don't have to worry about your gear not holding up. We wanna make sure you get there safely. We wanna make sure your gear lasts. We wanna make sure you get home and uh, stuff's not breaking. Now, with our base trailers and Red Arc, it allows you to do a couple of things. You notice you saw a 2000 watt inverter in there. Where's all that power coming from? Now, with your 200 amp AGM batteries, you're able to charge either with a solar panel on this port right here, or you can plug in just like you would uh, at your home with shore charging. And the third way you can charge is on the front of your vehicle. You can plug in your seven pin and charge with that BC to DC converter straight from your vehicle while you're driving. So when you get there, all your goodies inside the fridge are charged and cold, your batteries are charged up and your lights are ready to go. Now something that was really loved on our V1 trailer would be our A-frame uh, independent suspension with tons of clearance. Now this customer, because it is the V2 XL, they opted to have the Timber suspension, which we love, it's absolutely bulletproof. Now you'll notice on the passenger side of the trailer, we got two doors that match the driver's side. All right, so what do we have over here? A ton of storage. There's nothing underneath here, so you can use that for whatever you would like, both left and right side. If you want to add on more batteries or more storage space for whatever you're bringing in on your adventure, we added those in there for you. Now over here is gonna be your water closet. This is where your water pump comes in. We like to use the Julka Hot Tap Instant Water Heater and your Seaflow Water Pump, easy access, and again, more storage for you. One thing I hope you're catching with this new upgrade is storage, storage, storage. Why storage? because a lot of you load up your adventure vehicle with all the gear and the stuff and you get to camp. And what do you have to do? You have to unload all your stuff and load all your stuff every time you wanna go on an adventure. Stop putting rooftop tents on your vehicle. Put them on the trailer, take the gear out of your garage, put it in the trailer and latch up and go on an adventure. With all your gear in here, camping is a breeze. You don't even have to think about it anymore. You get off work, you latch up and you go. On the back of our trailers, one of the things our customers always loved was our big, huge three drawer system. Now we beefed up our rear swing out to give you options for molly panels, multiple tires, gas cans, traction boards, whatever you want. This can be added onto your trailer. All right, so we're gonna open up this big, huge latch, swing this trailer out. And you notice this swing out is going to pin into place, locking that rear swing out so it's not swinging back out on you. Open up our rear door and voila, you have your big drawers. Now these drawers, we love to, to show them off. We call them the, uh, the two body drawers, they go way out, almost five feet of storage now. We gave you an extra foot and a half of storage out the back of these drawers, so you have more storage space. Big, big, beefy 500 pound drawer slides locking into place as you close them and you're able to get off on your adventure with all the gear that you needed. Don't leave anything at home just because you don't have storage.
bring it with you on your trailer. Now with that suspension comes a lot of clearance, right? So you've got upwards of 24 inches of clearance. We got a little bit more because we're kind of on a slant here. 24 inches of clearance underneath this trailer. If you get the Cruise Master XDs, I believe it goes up to 26. And with that, you could pretty much go over any boulder you want. Now I wouldn't try all the boulders, but getting up here, we did some crazy, crazy stuff. Underneath, you'll notice we have our four point balancers. These are by Arc. We love Arc. Now Arc offers us both our balancers and our rolling jack as an upgrade for your trailer. Now let's go to the front of the trailer. Don't mind the mess. We had some fun getting up here. But if you notice some big changes happened up here, we have this thick tube right here. This we put from the tongue to the tail of the trailer, allowing you to have more accessories bolted into the back of the trailer, like your grills, your dirt bikes, or other accessories. Now up here, you'll notice a tension bolt. You unscrew this, your hitch now extends forward another three feet. So if you do have to back down a trail, you're not jackknifing like you would before. And of course, our towing chains, our seven pin for electronics that you can use for your trailer brakes and for uh, charging while you're driving and then your emergency pin for that extendable hitch, and of course, our ARC rolling jack. Now, like I said before in this video, LOBO is an acronym for living our best outdoors. What does that mean? That means we are ever-changing. This is like the fourth design of this trailer, and over the past year and a half, we went back and forth on what you would want, what you would need. Uh, a couple of other things that we didn't mention before, we're about 3,500 pounds on this trailer. Our V2 is 3,000 pounds, fully loaded, with 30 gallons of water and all of your gear. Tons of storage, tons of countertop space, better suspension, more options for your accessories. We hope that you come to love this trailer as much as we have in design. And guys, we have so much more to come. Big future, big shout out to our engineers for this launch. And again, we are proud to be made in the United States. From my family to yours, we hope you join us on some future adventures. We'll see you all out there.